Hey everyone, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And today we're back with a new fun deck that we've been requested to do. And it's we're still in cluster now since everything's going to be rotating out and thank god Alter's going to be gone. Yep. Um, it is going to be with our girl Prissia, but before we get into it guys, we just remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link will be down below. Go check it out. It really just takes an extra dollar to give us some love and support. We greatly appreciate it. Also down below is a link to our uh, Force Will Grimoire. FOW Grimoire, go check that out. It is a deck builder for Force Will, and it's awesome. Uh, but without further ado, we're going to delve into the deck called Beasts of Burden, which is uh, Prissia and some Four Sacred Beasts. So let's do it. So it is with Prissia, the new, one of the new, the red-green ruler. She's got Stranger 10, uh, Judgment, green-green, and a red, and Energizes for a red and a green. So when a wind regalia enters the battlefield under your control, you choose one. If the regalia is claw, you choose two. And you choose a card from your stranger deck at random and put in your hand. Put a 6-6 six, six wind beast resonator into the field. Put two friendship counters on this card or pay zero to do judge. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Yeah. Uh, she's even more straightforward on the back. Yeah, straight so, up. <laughs> she is a 7-7 seven, seven with swiftness. And she has a god's art of real power friendship, which is a green, green, and a red. Double attack and defense of resonators you control, of J resonators you control. Just, just like that. She's all about fighting. Yeah, and yeah. So her strangers, we they have the. We start off with Yignitsvi, the Guardian of Green Branch. It's two green, quick cast, seven eight. Uh, enter, recover, target J Resonator, and this is actually kind of used offensively. So when you do the attacks, you just play this recovered and attack again. Seems good. Uh, next is our boy Regulus, the King of Volcano. He has two red and one for a ten ten. He is a beast, and that is the important part. He's got swiftness. When this card is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to your opponent. Which is amazing. So yeah, this dude is a definite must in any Persia deck. Uh, green Wizard is one green for a 6-6. Six, six. Enter, choose a race. J Resonators of that chosen race gain barrier. Pay a green, target J Resonator gains plus 2 plus 2 until the end of turn. So ramps you up, makes all your beasts barrier, which is amazing. Uh, we have one Deep Green Magician, Liz. And it is two green quick cast 7-8. Enter, cancel target chance spell, so it makes sure that you, some, some of the other like removal spells don't hit your dudes. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, next we have Artemis, the goddess of hunt. She's two white and two green for a 10-10 stranger with swiftness and first strike. Uh, you pay white, you target any against barrier, pay white green, resonator to get plus two plus two. Pay two white and a green, remove target resonator from the game. Which is just very powerful. Yeah. She never seems to survive long enough for that to happen. Yeah, but most of the time she's just a 10-10 swiftness, which is what you kind of want. Yeah. Uh, next up is Amphibian, the two-headed dragon. He is two green for a 6-12 with flying and pierce. And pay a green until the end of turn. If this card would deal damage, it deals double that much instead. Play this only once per turn. Seems good. Yeah, so if you do this and you do her God's Art, then he gets to do like quadruple damage. Yeah. Four damage. Pretty much, essentially. Yep. And of course, the first resonator that needs to be in the deck is Friendly Seeking Mole. It's one green, three, three, enter. Put a friendship counter on your J roller when it, there's three or more friendship counters on your J roller. Set your deck for a win regalia, reveal it, and put it in your hand and shuffle your deck. And the fact that we're using this, of course, instead of what you just is because of the friendship counters. Because it does the same thing, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, next is Firefox. It is one red for a 4 4 with enter. You can get, take four damage, and if you do, this card gets swiftness and plus one, plus seven. Seems good. Hulong, it's a green and a red, 5-5. Five, five. So, this card gains plus two, plus two for each four sacred beasts you control. Enter, reveal cards from the top deck of your, until you reveal four sacred, four sacred beast resonator that doesn't share the same name with resonators you control. Put that card in the field and shuffle the rest of the deck. So that's super good. You just have an extra dude already for two. As long as you control four or more sacred beasts with different names, this card and four sacred beasts you control gain swiftness, flying, and barrier. So he just ramps you up to go crazy pretty much. Yeah, and he, he gets a free dude. Yeah. Like, seems good. Uh, next is Zukue, the Sacred Beast. It is a red and one for a 4-4 with swiftness. Uh, enters this card. It does 200 damage to target resonator for each four Sacred Beast you control. So the more of them you have, it, it the more it does. Yep. Uh, Zonwu, the Sacred Beast. It's two and a blue. Uh, when this card enters the field, return target resonator to its owner's hand. Total cost less than the equal number of four sacred beasts. And then whenever this card blocks, prevent the next damage it would be dealt to until end of turn, which is super awesome. Yeah. So basically just blocks for free. Yeah. So you have a blocker forever and you get to bounce things. Yep. 
Uh, next is Baihu, the Sacred Beast. It is a white and two for a 6-6. Six, six. When this card enters your field, you gain two life for each four Sacred Beasts you control. So, some lifelink to help you get there, or some life beam. Yeah. Alright, the next one is Qinglong, the Sacred Beast. It's two green and a one. So, when this card enters the field, it's an 8-8, eight, eight, of course. So. If you control another four Sacred Beasts, draw a card. So, simple as that. You just need one more. And then activate, you can pay one. Other four Sacred Beasts, Resonators, you control, get plus two, plus two until in a turn. Play this only once per turn, because... <clears throat> That'd be insane if you have like multiple dudes and they're all swinging for huge. Yeah. Just by just tapping out all your mana, really, pretty much. Uh, next up is the Road to the Beast Queen. It is one green for an addition. Enter. If your ruler is Prissia, choose a card from a stranger deck at random and put it in your hand. You can pay zero to play God's Art as long as you have two or more friendship counters on this on your J ruler. So this card is probably the weakest road in my opinion because yeah. it it you it's required to have something else for it to work which kind of isn't the best but it's still there just in case you do get them because you do get a lot of friendship counters really quickly so you can just be like cool free god's art and then thanks. pay pay for your yeah big dragon yeah. yeah yeah you flip her pay free god's art and then go for it pretty much next one is Perseus encouragement it's a one drop quick cast uh target j resonator you control does damage equal to attack to target j resonator your opponent controls if this card was awakened, choose a card from a stranger deck and put it at random, put it in your hand. Just it, the awakening is one red, so just two mana, basically kill a dude, get a stranger. Seems good. Next is the Secret Hot Springs of Sisse. It is one green addition. Put a friendship counter on your J ruler. You may search your deck for a four sacred beast, reveal it, and put it in your hand. That's good. If there is three or more friendship counters on this, tap, put a four sacred beast in from your hand into the field. Okay. So you get a free dude as long as you have three counters, which you probably will. But this is really nice just because it allows you to play all of the white and the group, the white and the blue one without having to pay for them. Yeah. And just to be like, cool, free into turn, I get a dude. Yeah. Or yeah, it comes into play, brings it in immediately, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, Wings of the Archang Archangel. It's a green and a white uh, regalia, of course. Your jailer gains flying, so her swinging out swifty flying is pretty nice. Tap, produce two will of any combination for a green, white, or spin this only play God's Art abilities, sword arts, and angels. So this can help you play your God's Eye if you need to. The two green for, for this, or yeah. you just play Strangers. That's what it's for. Not Strangers, sorry. God's Eye for Sword Arts. Yeah. It's there for the Sword Arts. Uh, next is the Claw of the Sacred Beast. It is a red and a green. It is her regalia. Uh, beast and four Sacred Beast resonates your control. Get plus one, plus one for each friendship counter on it. So it makes her really big. Yeah. Uh, tap, produce two colors of red or green. Spin this only for God's Arts, Strangers, or Sword Arts. So... We're playing mostly sword arts with all these abilities, with all this regalia, so you get all the free sword art mana. Oh yeah. Burning Rush, we all know what this does, right? So it's a red and a green quick cast sword art. Choose one. This card deals 1,000 damage to target J Resonator, or target J Resonator you control gets plus 1,000 plus 1,000 until in a turn. If there are three or more friendship counters on J Ruler, you may pay a green or a red to play this card instead. If you have seven or more friendship counters on J Ruler, play this card without paying its mana cost super just quick and easy kill yeah you're just like cool kill that dude or my dude gets big yeah uh next is awakening of the winged lord it is a white and a green quick cast sword art choose one recover up to two jazzy resonators with flying or look at the top four of your deck put a non-chant card with total cost two or less from among them into the field put the rest on the bottom in random order choose a random card from your stranger deck removed from the game you gain life equal to its attack so if you need to do the third one you can to gain life but otherwise you're going to mostly want the second one or the first one. Yep. The other awakening is of the Beast Queen. It's green, red, green. Apparently it's a sword art. Choose one. J Resonators you control gain plus six, plus six until in a turn with two friendship counters on your J Roller. Then recover up to two magic stones or put two six, six, one Beast Resonator tokens onto the field. So it's a nice little combination of whatever you like to do for sure. And then finally, we have Super Beast Burning Rush, which is her big spell. Yep. It is two red and two green for a chance sword art. You put a friendship counter in your J ruler. If this card is awakened, you choose X times where, and sorry, you choose X times from the following. Otherwise, choose X from the following at random, where X is the number of friendship counters on your J ruler. Yeah. And you can choose any option multiple times. So the options are: this card does 500 damage to your opponent. Put a 6-6 Wind Beast Resonator token into the field. It gains swiftness until the end of turn. Choose a card from your stranger deck at random or untap two stones. Recover up to two stones you control. 
and it awakens for two red and two green. So if you pay eight, you get the whole thing. Yeah. Which is kind of crazy, but you can. P pretty much if you pay eight, you're killing your opponent immediately. So. Yeah, I mean, already if you're paying four, this card can do a lot for you. Yeah. Because this card is almost always going to be free. Because you recover up to two stones, so you're like, cool, then free, free stones. And you have so many, like, five or six friendship counters plus by then. And you're just like, I yeah. don't care what yeah. happens. I don't know what's going to happen, but we're going to get a lot of free things. Yeah, exactly. Which is insane and fun, and that's how she used to win all the time, pretty yeah. much. Uh, her stones are relatively simple. They're straightforward. We have two Adiractes Memoria, one of the Deep Wood, some Gusting Skies, and Blasting Waves. So we're mostly just using dual lands and a couple of the Adir Adiractes. You, you might as well if there's no punishment to do so. Yeah, you get no. there's no downside to not using dual lands and having multiple colors right now. Exactly. So do it. Uh, that is it for the deck, guys. The deck list will be down below for Beasts of Burden, and we will see you all again next time. Bye. Later. Also guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.